Welcome back. It's day three, three days in a row, and we are finally trying to get to the very end, finish all the games in the game jam. Uh, I want to thank again all of the people who actually participated. This was such a fun game jam, and I love playing all of the games. It's been really cool and really cool what all of y'all have been able to make in 72 hours. Um, so, I think uh, we'll just uh, jump into it. I'll kind of recap a little bit, and then we'll uh, jump into the um, jump into playing stuff. I'll let some people, uh, um, you know, jump in and whatnot. So uh, we have been playing through the game jams um, on or the uh, entries for the game jam that happened last weekend. Hey, welcome in. Um, I did not play Turtle OS yesterday. That is on our list. Um, and I also did not play um, Wailing Whale yet. I saw someone asked about that one. Um, yeah, I, want, I mean, I want to play. You guys spent 72 hours making this um, game jam, like this game. I can at least spend 72 hours playing them all. So we can, you know. So we've got a good amount of ratings now. So we've got 300 ratings. That's what, six-ish, six, maybe seven ratings per game which is good which is really good and these ratings are public so if you didn't even participate in the game if you didn't participate in the jam i keep mixing up game and jam for some reason um if you did not participate in the jam if you didn't make a game you can still rate games so you can still go through and play all the ones you want download them all they're all free you can donate to the creators if you would like and you know rate the games um so more ratings helps more ratings helps everyone you know just kind of get a feel for it and i'm sure all of the all of the developers would love to have some feedback on their game i've gotten um, a good amount of feedback too um and i <laughs> i'm i played my game yesterday and am not happy with it and so i've had some feedback on that and been able to see what you think of that oh it's 4 a.m there for you that's rough I appreciate you getting up early for uh, to come hang out with me. Uh, cool. So we have 14 hours or about 15 hours left to vote. So if you have not voted in the uh, entry here, then go in and um, vote for your favorite um, submissions. Well, it's not, it's not, it's less voting and more rating. So you just go in here, you can download the game, and then you, after you play the game, can say up to five stars for each of the four categories. So we're rating on enjoyment, how much you actually enjoyed playing the game, concept, which is you know how interesting was the game, um, uniqueness kind of thing, uh, presentation, so how well executed it is, and this also kind of plays into how done the game is, um, and then use of theme, of course, how escape roomy was it? So that's kind of how we're going through. I've stopped rating live because um, it just takes time and going through each one of these escape rooms uh takes me a minute so uh, <laughs> i've just skipped the rating altogether and i'll come back and i do it afterwards so we have been going through the um games more or less in submission order so you'll see i've went through and rated all these so far um we have a few more to get to let me open up my list of ones we played already so we played, we have, I think, 15 left to play. Um, so we have the Resonance VR we haven't played yet. Um, let's, where are you? So the Resonance, we can, we at Zombie Castle. Um, we played Floaty Hands the first day. And then we're going to start back at the Resonance VR. Um, we played Z-Day uh, Room Escape as well. Um, yesterday, we kind of went through all of the Android-specific games. I think there's one or two more that I have to play still that we'll swap back into. And then, so we're gonna pick up off from the Resonance VR and carry on and uh, try to finish all of them, which would be really cool. So, the Resonance VR, let's go ahead and jump into it. So this one, ooh, has a really cool page. So it looks like we're using Hurricane VR as an asset, nice. Use your wits to find all four family heirlooms in this spooky residence and escape with your will still intact. It's for Oculus Quest 2, 
uh, move your left stick, rotate with your right stick, standard, pretty standard stuff, and the backpack's over your left shoulder. Cool. All right. Let me download that one. All right, I have it downloaded. Let me open it up. The resident, is it the? Yeah, the residence. The residence VR. All right. You were scared at the start, at the beginning? Is it scary at the very beginning? Let me know if y'all can hear the uh, the game. Oh, there are objects in my boundary. I'm okay with that. Okay. Play. Let's look at settings. I always look at settings first. Ooh, that was nice. Being able to look up. Okay. Force pull, force pull, grab. Um, calibrate height. Um, sure. All right, let's play. All right, we can. Oh, it's a smooth turn. Um, but it has the little um, you know, uh, oh, what's that called? A vignette around you. Now use the grip button to grab objects. And door handles. Find all four family heirlooms to exit the residence. You are being watched. Ooh, look at that. I love Hurricane VR's hand stuff. They do pretty well with the, the hand controls as well. Oh, I'm being timed. All right. Um, one, three. Oh, 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 oh. I can pick it up, kind of. Can I look under the... I can only pick that one up. Oh, can I... They're, like, kind of grabbable a little bit. I can look. Oh, one, seven, three. What? Oh, okay. So three, seven... One, we're looking for the uh, key code for the, the um, this, and we can look under the picture frames apparently. Oh, six. Okay, so six is what the second number, and then seven is the fourth number. So it's it goes one. Oh, oh, that's my backpack. Okay, that scared me. Uh, okay, so we have one, six. Was it? One, six, seven, three. No, one, six, three, one, six, three, seven. Cool. One, six, three, seven. Go. Oh. Creepy. I like the little effect. Spooky. I like the ambiance. It's cool. I don't hear any music. It's just footsteps. It's very quiet. All right, let's try this door, I guess. I like the door mechanics. The door mechanics are nice. I like how the doors don't interact with your body, too. Sometimes, like, when you pull the door across, you get hung up a little bit. Also, I'm being timed. And I... Oh, there's another um, key. Is this... The same one. Oh, I can sprint. Cool. Oh, that one's locked. Okay. We're looking for four heirlooms. What's behind this picture? Oh, okay. 637422. 637422. 637422. Okay. 637. Nope. 742. I always have to look behind me. I hate horror movies. Oh, I don't watch horror movies. If you uh, want to know anything about me, I don't. Oh, 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 I got trapped. That's that can't be good. And I'm still being watched. Interesting. And there's the creepy music. Creepy sound effects. Okay. There's a little lever over on that side. Um, yeah, so I don't play or watch watch or play horror games very often. So, oh, there's a there's a thingy. Okay, put you in my backpack. A battery. 
Okay, you can go in the backpack too. Nope. All right, we got battery and one of the little heirloom things. Oh, it gives me a charge indicator too. Oh, that didn't do anything. Okay, is that just a f root? Um. Oh, I guess we don't. Yeah, we don't even need to go that way. Unless it opens up that door. This battery's got to go to something. Um, but yeah, I don't watch horror movies. I have to watch them through my hands like this because um, I'm a wimp. Oh, wait, I did. I did throw that. Where do I put this battery? Oh, there's a ladder. Oh, I missed that. Okay. <laughs> I want to hold on to my battery, though. It won't go in the backpack, I don't think. No, no, no. Okay. Well, no battery for us, then. Oh, more creepy sound effects. That was scary, just because I fell down the uh, ladder without meaning to. <laughs> I didn't drop anything. Just the battery. Creepy sound effects. Okay, there's another little um, emblem thing. I love it. Okay, something important if you use ladders or any kind of climbing elements is make sure it goes above where the person is getting off. Don't like end it right at the top because it's really hard to get the whole um, player controller over. Just a nice little touch there. Okay, so this also has a battery. Interesting. Okay. Nice little effects there. Oh, we're on the uh, we're on the second level now. Okay, so we have two. I don't know what the batteries go to yet. We need two more. Oh, okay, so this is where we put them. Got it. Okay. So. Nope. Yes. Ooh, creepy sound effects. Yes. Okay. Battery. The exit's right there. We need to find two more. All right. Um, I'll put the battery right there because I don't feel like holding it. All right. This is a six-digit code. So far, all the codes have been behind paintings. Can I pick up this one? No. No. All right. So the tall paintings you can't look underneath. We've came through that door. Let's look in this door. Ooh. Okay. So one thirty-three seven forty-two. Oh. I heard a sound effect. 137.42. Go around this side. 133.742. Creepy sound effects. Goodness. You guys just want to scare me, don't you? That's your whole goal in life. Another battery? Nope. Okay. All right, all right. One more. We're almost there. We got it. Green, and then a red one, I guess. Um, did we look? I think we looked in all the rooms. There's just the one room up there. We went through there already. I think we came through here. Oh, maybe we didn't. Oh, yeah, yeah. So we went through there and through here. So... All right, there's one more. We did not go through these double doors. Oh, more sound triggers. Okay, there's the red one. Um, ooh, lever. Pull the lever, crock. Okay. This seems too easy. And another battery. What's with all the batteries? Ooh, it automatically adds to my backpack. Love that. Okay. 
Um, how do we get back? Oh, that's locked. Okay. Um, nope, we've been there already. Okay, here we go. Creepy sounds. Okay, there's battery for that. There's the last one. Haha! -ha! Now I can go through this. Yes! Woohoo! We did it! That was fun! Did it 9 minutes 26 seconds. Nice! Cool, that was fun! Puzzles weren't particularly difficult, but um, I do like that it wasn't particularly difficult sometimes. Um, yeah, the backpack is quite nice. The texture is muddy. I mean, they weren't super high res, but it wasn't like bad. Um, yeah, the lifting, the painting lifting things was pretty cool. That was nice. All right. Good job. The residents. Very nice. All right, now the Wailing Well, and then we'll get to Tur Turtle OS. Is Turtle OS just really fun? Have you guys played that one? Um, I have heard a lot of things about Turtle OS. Not a lot of things. I've just heard a lot of people mention one thing me to play it. Very curious. Suspicious. We'll go with suspicious. Okay, the Wailing Well. Um, you are locked in a well. Find the keys by using your environment to escape. <clears throat> and climb. You escape your shackles and climb the chain to escape the well. Note, make sure your floor height set properly. Otherwise, you can't pick things up. Yeah, that is kind of annoying sometimes. That's why it's nice to have the uh, distance grab is just in case. And so it's like, you know, I don't have to bend down every time I want to pick something up. Um, adding in that distance grab is really nice. The Wailing Well. Let me find that. Dun, dun, dun. Turtle OS is interesting, and the Wailing Well is super clean. Okay. Is that where my feet are supposed to be? Oh, that's where I'm supposed to be. <laughs> I moved. It it caught me right when I before I put my headset on. <laughs> that's kind of funny that it only renders your hands and your feet. <laughs> okay, begin. Please take a seat. This game is meant to be... Oh, it's meant to be place, played seated. I don't have a seat. We'll pretend I'm sitting. Next. Press the B button or primary button on your right joystick to recenter the body on the chair. Okay, so... Right. B button on the right joystick. Aha! There we go. Perfect. Much better. Looks like you're stuck. Won't be able to escape until you free that clamp on your left. Oh no, on my arm. Oh, I can't move my arm. Oh, interesting. Use the key on your right to unlock the clamp and free your left hand. Ooh. Okay, so that was a pretty cool little tutorial. Oh. What's happening? This is really good sound design. Ooh. That was really cool. That was very clean. Okay, can I reset myself? Or that was just up there. Okay. Um, oh, okay. So, oh, so now my right hand is unlocked. So I'm going to grab that with my left hand. Unlock. Haha. -ha. Oh, okay. Now I got to get... Oh, is it timed? Is this filling up? Oh, goodness. Okay. All right. I got to get my feet, I guess? Or do I... Can I climb? I have to get my feet. Oh, okay. 
Um, all right, so that can go there. <laughs> Scary. Okay, okay. Oh, that one's blue and that one's red. Okay, blue one is right there. <sighs> Got it, okay, blue. And then red, we need to, oh goodness, they just flew everywhere. Um, red, 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 red. Oh, it's in the bucket, it's gotta be in the bucket. <laughs> there it is. Okay, I've got it, I got it. Nice. Okay, I did it. Now what? Do I climb? Can I climb? Oh, oh, yes, I can. Nice. Oh, that's terrifying. What do I do about you? You survived the whaling well. Maybe next time you won't be so lucky. Nice. Okay. Thanks for playing our VR gin by... Um, I can't pronounce that, but these people may so. <laughs> Kokutu Kachikitia and Onej. Onej. I'm sorry, I completely butchered that. But this was very nice. I, I really liked this. And you have an exit button. I love it when, when games have exit buttons. Oh, I broke it because I wasn't sitting? I should have been... Oh, because you have to... Oh, so uh, I should have, I would have had to grab like one of the bones and knock the pail out or something. That's probably what I would have had to do, right? Gotcha. Okay. That was, I really liked that, actually. That was a whole experience. Very nice. Okay, Turtle OS. Here it is. Um, I played Thiefic the first day, but I couldn't figure out, like, I must have missed something, because it didn't, like, register and the door stayed unlocked for me, so I could just walk in and out. I feel like I missed a trigger or something. Um, okay. Turtle OS. VR escape room made by me. Um, Sheepify6060 on Discord. And a YouTube channel. Welcome to my channel. Okay. Nice. So they've got their own little uh, VR um, YouTube channel going. Cool. All right, let's play Turtle OS. Find it. There we go. It's on the wrong screen for you. There we go. All right. These are interactables. You can interact with them by pressing the grip button. Got it. Easy. All right. Oh, point like this is a button. You can interact with buttons directly. Boop. Boop. Oh, I have to hit it with a hammer or something. Okay. It's a little security camera thing. So I guess I have to put this in the slot. That would make sense, right? Can I hammer it into the slot? Good job. Come on. Go. You can do it. Oh, there we go. Boop. Oh, it says 13 on the back. That might be important later. Oh gosh, I have to do math. Solve for X. Okay. Oh goodness. I didn't realize I'd have to do math. Um, all right. Y'all ready for a, a math lesson? Okay, here we go. 69 equals three, so we can divide that. So that's gonna be um, 20, oh what? Oh, dang it. Can't even use the whiteboard. Okay. So that's going to be 23. Also, I want to 
keep holding this because it gives me comfort and security. Can't black out the cameras. Okay, so that's going to be 23 equals that. Um, and then we can, so that's going to be 4, 23 equals 4x plus 7. Um, so we can do, and then 23 minus 7 is going to equal um, one, 16. 16 divided by 4 is for x equals 4. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with the answer. Can I write it on here? x equals 4. x equals question mark. Am I missing something? 4. What am I supposed to do here? Can I just erase x? Can I go through the wall? Oh, I can just push the wall. <laughs> Did I just break it? I feel like I just, that wasn't supposed to happen. Or is it? Can I move this? Wait, let's see. If, if I can push through this door, then it was meant to happen. Oh, uh, yeah. I think it might have been meant to happen. Okay, so four, one, three, four, nine. One, oh. One, three, four, nine. <laughs> I win. Oh, you really thought. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh, something's... Oh, no, I'm caught. Escape, he's watching. Simulation. Beware. Oh, is that Among Us? Exit. Is this, this doesn't happen to be an exit. Wait. Is this the door? No. Okay. Beware. Reboot. Turtle OS. What happens when I go through this? Oh. Button, 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 button. Oh, there we go. Download complete. Preparing install. Installing files. Zero one zero one zero one. Install complete. Attempting boot. Something's gonna jump out in front of me. Malware detected, tempted to roof. Oh, am I the malware? Wait, hold on. Okay, no, I'm still fine. Tempting boot. There's gonna be some jump scare because I'm like, I'm terrified. Some of you get yours games are scary, so I'm I am terrified of jump scares now. Okay, hundred percent completed. Laptop closed. Oh, nice. Okay. 30 hours developing. Sheepify did all the stuff. 728 Google searches performed while making this. <laughs> That's hilarious. Nice. Okay. Very cool. I like the game. Very nice. Okay, that's it, I guess. Cool. Very well done. I don't think there has been a jump scare yet in any of the games, but I'm just like so worried about. <laughs> Oh, I didn't get that reference, if that is the reference. Yeah, the whiteboard. So the whiteboard tutorial that I gave you guys works, but I never, before I posted the tutorial, I never actually ran a build and tested it on the app because you know you kind of expect you know it works in the editor so it should work in the app so um 
Yeah, I may need to do an update to that uh, whiteboard video just because uh, a lot of people have been having issues with that, I think, when they you know build it out to an actual game or something. And I think there's a little more, there's a more performant way to do it too because it kind of like bugs out um, a little bit when it's like every, you know, it's basically doing like an iteration through stuff. So very nice game though. I liked that. I liked the... Uh, the exit wasn't really where you thought the exit would be. Um, and then it was like, there's some more stuff you have to get through. That's pretty cool. Um, all right. Advanced settings is actually a um, quest game. So we'll come back to that one. Um, so this one's just, just an APK file. So we'll come back to that one. Um, yeah, we're going to come back to advanced settings. I'm going to go back and hit cooperative escape room. Um, I was talking to the developer for this one. And um, they showed me how to. We never. I didn't have time to test out a multiplayer. So this is a multiplayer escape room, and I didn't have time to test this one out. But um, he showed me a hack um, that I can do to kind of be both places. Um, so I'll sh I'll go back and show you guys that one. Um, and then let's see. Mini Dungeon is a Google Cardboard game, but I didn't get a chance to try that out because I don't have a Google Cardboard or I may try to download it to my um, Android phone, and I have a little like slide-in cardboard thing. I may try to do that off stream. So the next one is No Clipped. No Clipped was made for my 72-hour game jam with the theme of escape room, or in this case, escape rooms, made by Mindful Flare, Snowshoe, and VR Gal Ren, based on the back rooms. Is that like a TV show? Movie? I don't know. All right, let me find this one. No clipped. There you are. Hey, you have the same last name as me, Faith. No clipped. Let's begin. Interesting. Oh, oh. That was sneaky. Okay. Footstep sounds are interesting. Oh, so is it just a maze? It's like a whole... Oh. Wait, this is a dead end. Can I jump through this? Oh, I can't. Okay. Alrighty. So it's it's a maze, I guess. Is this the exit? Can I rip this? Ooh, okay, so I liked the you kind of hinted at it a little bit. Nice, okay. Alright. So a different maze. Just a really long hallway. Okay, good. It doesn't dead end. All right. No creepy things. That looks like it dead ends. We'll go this way. That's a dead end. Oh, we may have gone the wrong way. Oh, my hands can go through. Well, oh, dang it, dead end. Okay. No sprinting either. That's okay. Sprinting is like a weird thing to have in a VR game, or it's not a weird thing to have, but it's like a, you know, should you add sprinting to the VR game or not? It's like a game like Half-Life Alex, you move at a speed that's even slower than this, actually. And it's supposed to, oh, we should have turned the first time. So you move at a speed slower than this in Half-Life Alex, and that's to keep the motion sickness down. And it's also to help the game not have to render as much stuff as quickly, so like, it kind of paces out the rendering of things so like you know the slower you move the uh, less quickly it has to you know add new things to your game if you hear the buzzing in the background that's um my computer hating the uh i can see the seams in here every now and then i don't know if that's something i feel like i'm walking in circles at this point okay this is going somewhere this is going somewhere different 
Somewhere we haven't been to before. Another long hallway. The hands are interesting. They have weird um, shadows on them. Like it's a... It's like a dirty, greasy, like, shadow. Oh, here we go. Okay. Is this the way? Did we make it? Oh, there's a little control panel. Oh, that's not a control panel. It's a dumpster. Um, can I open it? Oh, I can. Oh, can I? Do I have to jump through? Open says me, and then go go through. Open, open. Wait, hold on. I can kind of finagle my way in. There we go. Come on. I got it. Come on, open. Oh, there we go. Wait. Yes. No. You're almost there. Wait. Hold on. Let's. Okay, I'll open it from this side. Can I open it from this side? Yeah. There we go. No. Stay. No. Stay. It doesn't stay open. Oh! I threw the uh, chair too far. Okay. So there's a weird collision between the... Uh... Oh, gosh. It's a weird little, like, collider... Oh, collider thing. Okay. Open. And then... Really fast. Go ahead. Yes! Yes! I made it! Haha! -ha! I got it. That was a weird little, uh... Oh, that portal. Are you referencing portal here? So do I have to get through that door to escape? Alright, so I started pointing this way, so I clearly need to go this way to get out, possibly. Oh. <laughs> I am strong. <laughs> just pick up a whole filing cabinet and throw it across the room. All right. Oh, there's another door. Wait a minute. Is this is this just making me go in circles? What? Okay. Ooh, we got to use the filing cabinet to get up. Possibly. Oh, and the uh, and the stool. So stool, filing cabinet, and into the door. Nope, oh, I don't want to stand on it yet. Not close enough. There we go. Stool, filing cabinet. Oh, can I jump? Is there a jumping button? Oh, that flips me around. Okay. Jump. Nope. Maybe if I turn it sideways, I can get up to it. And then can't really. Can I step through the door? Can I clip through it? Nope. All right. Oh, maybe stool on top of this. Oh, but then I can't get up there. What if I put the stool down here? Can I pick it up after I step up to the... Eh, give it to me. Aha! Okay. And then step up to this, and then I still can't reach it. I can't even go through the door. Is that even the right door? Is that what I'm supposed to be doing? Hmm. I'm kind of stumped on this one. It's just a circle you walk around with. That's the only door. All we have is a filing cabinet and a stool. So you'd think you'd be able to use those two things. Oh, filing cabinets. Back over there again. And the stool's up right there. Are you not even supposed to have the stool? Hmm. Interest. Curious about. If I just oh wait 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 I can use it as like a like that not quite 
Maybe if I turn it, use it as a ramp. Oh, oh, oh. We'll have to move the stool out of the way. Use this as a ramp, maybe. All right, I'm going to look at chat, maybe, and see if you guys have an idea. Oh, there we go. And then maybe the stool. Okay, so we can use this as a ramp. Put that up there. Not quite. Oh, come on, come on. I'm at the door. I made it. Let me go through. Let me go through. Huh. All right, chat. Y'all have any idea? Oh, do it on the other door? You can do some janky stuff. Just hold the stool underneath and fly. Yeah, I don't understand. Okay, yeah, we'll try it on the other door see what happens. I have to bring all my things. Stool. Filing cabinet. Go to the other door. Alright. Yeah, there's some weird, like, shaking when it goes. You could actually probably fix that with it doing a late camera render. Okay, so we kind of know the format this works in a little less of a steep angle possibly wait i can't pick it up anymore hello oh i can't pick the filing cabinet up anymore what okay whoa maybe can i oh, i can pick myself up with the stool Woohoo! <laughs> nice! <laughs> there we go, we beat it. It was the other door. That was interesting. <laughs> Very curious. Was it. Were you, you weren't supposed to do that, were you? Just, you like, kind of prop it up and, like, climb up there? Oh well. All right. Manu? Manu? How do you pronounce this? Ma Manu. Manu. Manwe. Does anybody know how to pronounce this? Maybe they'll say it when I play. Yeah, of course, Mateus. Yeah, I want to try all of them. Oh, if I looped again, I would have spawned more filing cabinets? Oh, okay. I just glitched my way out of the game. <laughs> okay, I understand now. Ooh, I have hair. Ooh. There's a big dude. And a portal. Oh, I like the inverse kinematics. Nice. Also, well, my hand is a little short, but that's okay. All right. Welcome to Monoe. Escape this no place. Inhabitant the bo inhabit the bodies by looking at them and pulling the right trigger while their head is highlighted. Return to your body with the right trigger. Okay. So right trigger teleport basically transfers your soul to another body. Um, okay. The bodies retain their pose when you leave it. Hold on to the bodies using the grip buttons to climb them. Continuous move position. Okay. Oh, okay. Whoa. Oh. So can I just grab you? Oh, oh. Wait. Can I climb up the dude now? Oh, I can't. Wait. Hold on. Sort of? Kind of? I can. So I have to use this giant dude that I can turn into as a... Oh. I'm going to climb your pec muscles. 
finding the spot to climb is hard. Oh no. Okay, there we go. Alright, where's the... Oh no! I feel like I'm falling. Oh, okay, so I have to... You actually have to be able to see the teleport... Or the, uh, ray cast. That's where the climbing spot is. So the mesh is a little farther away than the actual thing. Which makes it a little difficult to figure out where I'm grabbing. There we go. See, yeah, the, the mesh is way back here. Oh, except I can't grab it anymore. Okay, there we go. There's certain spots I can grab and certain spots I cannot. And then I have to get to the door, I'm assuming. So if I just... Swap back. Does the dude fall? Oh, he starts back. Okay, okay. Let's let's do this. Kind of stretch my arms out like that, and teleport back. Okay, this should make it a little easier. Climb. Okay, got it, got it. Okay. Climbing's a little... It's a little strange. Also, it cuts off, like, up here. Oh. Wait, maybe it cuts off when... No. I don't... I don't understand when you can climb and when you can't. Maybe there's another collider somewhere... Wait, so if I teleport back now... Oh, the dude goes back! What the heck? Okay, let's just do this. <laughs> That's kind of creepy. Okay. Climb up the hand, and then I can just walk. So strange. Come on, let's go. Uh, maybe if I crouch down. I don't know. Ugh. Weird. Okay. And then I can just go up onto his shoulder. Ah, oh, he teleports back. Come on. How am I supposed to solve this? I don't understand. I feel like I have to do something with my arms, you know, and then like walk up, but then like it's it doesn't the climbing part doesn't work. Okay, I got it. I got it. Don't worry. Oh, okay. I'm I'm feeling good about this one. Okay, yeah, okay. Now we just kind of inch around. Oh, go through the head. Climb. Oh, can we make this? Come on. Come on. I can do it. I, I can, I'm almost there. Let me go up. Let me go up. I can do it. Ugh. No. My hands was... Oh, okay. There we go. Perfect. Yeah. Oh, there's another. Oh, oh. Oh. Okay, then. All right. So there's lots of dudes. And I have to get to that door, I guess. Interesting. So we make, like, a chain or something. So let's start with this dude, like that, and then we'll swap to this guy, and then, oh, we have to go on the other side, we'll form a little conga line, also they move really slow, we'll uh, kind of 
turn that way, so it's... There we go. Okay, and then the green dude. That's walkable, right? This is a really interesting concept. I wouldn't say it's very escape roomy, but... Alright, and swap back. That's close enough, probably. And then this dude. Alright, so we're gonna start here, walk down, walk over, walk down this arm, up, over. And then we should be able to walk across that, that'll be the hard part. And then, um, from here, we can just go on, here, let's see, this arm there, we'll do that. Okay, let's, let's try this, see if it works. Alright, purple dude's good, yellow dude's good. I think the green one was going to be the hardest. Okay, cool. Cool, that worked. That angle's not too bad. Um, all right. And then, yes. I think this will work. Nice. We did it. Oh, there's another one. Oh, just a... Okay, let's see. Um, so, could we get it with one dude? We probably could. I think my floor height's a little... Not the best. Um, and then you can kind of help a little bit with the arm stuff. All right, let's see if this works. Oh, got it, got it. Oh, we have to do some climbing, maybe. Oh, we're so close, come on. Where's the... Yeah, I got it. Okay. I don't see the... Oh, it's all the way down there now. How many levels are there? Can I... There's no up or down. Interesting. Alright. Let's see if I can just... Get over there with one, one dude. Maybe like fly a little bit. All right, right there, and go back. All right, cool. Let's see if this will work for me. It's really interesting concept. It's not very escape roomy, but all right. Yeah, we got it. We got it. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> okay. There's a lot of levels. Um. I don't know where I'm supposed to go now. Oh, it's on the other side here? Okay. So we can just do the old, uh, straight arm there, and then... Something like that, maybe? Eh. Let's see if that works. Alright, gently, gently. Ooh, if you guys are motion sick, this probably wouldn't be the best game for the, the motion sick peoples. And is this it? Is that that last? Oh, oh. Oh, there we go. We made it. Woo! That was cool. That was a really interesting concept. Nice. A little portal action there for you. Yeah. Yay, no fall damage. <laughs> we just made little conga lines. There was a lot of... I wish there was like a... Um, I mean, I know it was a 72-hour game jam, so it's, you know... But if uh, if you're going to make it into, like, an actual game, I would add in some, like, fanfare between, like, going between the levels. 
like a woohoo or a little sound effect or um, particles or like um you know something so the player can have a little concept of where they are in the progression of things because i'm like oh are there like 15 more levels or is there only like one more um that kind of thing yay for no fall damage <laughs> but very nice all right deactivated by fistful of shrimp <laughs> All right. You have sent a request to deactivate you your in, Instamask account. After feeling a sharp sting, you pass out. Upon waking up, you see a recorder informing you that your request to deactivate your account has been received. Good luck trying to escape the social media. All right, left-hand controller is a teleport. Right hand and left are both grab things. OK. So we have to escape social media is the goal here. Deactivated. Oh, this is homey. I like this. This is so nice. <laughs> it's a random weirdly colored. Is that the turtle? Is that <laughs> did you did you add in this because it's a turtle? <laughs> this is cool. I don't know how you park the car here, but um very nice. Good little ambiance. Alright, press me. Hello. We've received your request to deactivate your Instamask account. In order to deactivate your account, please access your computer. To verify that you are of sound mind, we have tranquilized you and locked you outside of your house. To access your computer, please solve oh, our test to verify your mental well-being. What? That sounds like breaking and entering. <laughs> so this is my house. So this is my car. How did I park it right here? This is my secret. This is my secret so nobody actually steals my car is you can just take the fence off and then put it back. But it looks like it's a whole fence. <laughs> Maybe that's the, the secret. Okay. Um, so there's this weird little maze thing. Interesting. Okay. Go around and up and down. Okay. Oh, this is cool though. Like you can move the thing and it stays stuck to the uh, maze. That's nice. Ooh. Interesting. A maze inside of a... So we did the small starter maze and now we're doing the big boy maze. Wait. Can I press this? Hello? Congratulations. There we go. You are one step closer to deactivating your Instamask account. As a reminder, Instamask is the number one social media app in the world. <laughs> Please locate the key to your house inside the backyard to continue deactivation. Oh my gosh. This is how it feels like deleting social media accounts. Oh goodness. Okay. We'll go this way. I should probably look down the halls before I go that way. Um, we'll go this way. Nope. Oh, come on. You knew I would try those. Oh, can I teleport? Nope. Oh, what? Now I'm lost. Okay. There's nowhere else to go. Unless... Okay, so we went that way. Let's try this way. That's a dead end. And then... That's a dead end, too. What the heck? And we tried this one. This was a dead end, too, right? No? Oh. Okay, so that was a dead end. I went back too far. And then we go around... This way. Possibly... Oh, now I'm freakishly lost. Oh, <laughs> I can clip through the walls, though. Oh, I'm back to the... <laughs> That's funny. Okay. I'll play by the rules for now. 
Okay, so it's this way and this way. Maybe. Aha! Found it. Instamask would like to thank you for being such a valuable customer. Ooh! Please unlock the front door with this key and proceed to your room to complete deactivating your account. Okay. So this isn't an escape room, and it's a, it's an escape social media. <laughs> Bloop. All right, one, two, three. Hat. For security purposes, we have locked your room. Rude. Your house is also a mess. Please hang. Yeah, I know. And answer the following security questions. Number one, what sails the seas? Number two, ship. What uses a broom but not for cleaning? Number three, what? yeehaw. Oh, that's the order of the hats. Okay, so what sails the seas is. Oh, I'm a lefty, so I grab things with my left hand. Um, and then two is using a broom but not for cleaning I don't I don't know and then three is yeehaw maybe that's right so this is wrong oh uses a broom but not for cleaning oh a witch a witch we need a witch hat Um, I don't see a witch hat, though. Maybe this? No? Hmm. I miss one? Maybe there's one in the, uh... Possibly, because, you know, that's where I keep my hats. No? Yes. Some interesting artwork. It's gotta be a witch hat, right? Yeah. Let's listen to it again. For security purposes, we have locked your room. Your house is also a mess. Please hang up your hats and answer the following security questions. Number one, what sails the seas? A ship. Number two, what uses a broom? but not for cleaning. A witch. Number three. Yeehaw. Yeah, okay. So it's gotta be a witch hat somewhere. Did I just miss it? She's a witch. Burn her. But what else floats? Um, the... Oh, it was in the trash. Okay. Found it. This is not Yeehaw? What? Okay, maybe this is Yeehaw. This is kind of Yeehaw sometimes. No. Yeehaw. It's gotta be that one. No. It's gotta be this one. Oh, now it's saying the first one is wrong? Weird. I had to put them on in a certain order before it would let me grab it. Kind of odd. Instamask is sorry to see you go. Your account has been deactivated. <laughs> nice! Here's an ad for our new product. <laughs> that was good. Try out the new Moculus mission. Experience virtual reality. Live inside the game. It's a mask account required. <laughs> this sounds like the Ready Player One ad that played in the movie. <laughs> That's funny. So that was pretty good.
Very nice. Oh, you're totally welcome. Creatives? I would like to see a witch wear a green top hat. You could totally be a witch and wear a green top hat if you want to. <laughs> Very nice. That was deactivated. All right. Corrupted Corridors. This one's by Turbo Henry. Walk through infinite corridors in search of an escape. Unlock the exit door by collecting all three keys. At the moment, the game is very early phase. The majority of time spent was experimenting with procedural generation. Oh yeah, so this person made a procedurally generated um, escape room, which is very interesting. Um, so it's just like endless corridors that you're trying to escape. And I don't know how they spawn the keys or anything, but we'll play it, see what happens. Corrupted Corridors. All right. Um, so there's the first key. Quick and easy. Got it. Can I? Nope, there's no inventory. I dropped it. Oh, it's very dark in that corner. Okay. So I guess you can just kind of endlessly run around. You have to find three keys, though. Oh, here we go. One. Okay. So we have to find more keys. Find a blue key and a green key. This is really cool. I'm actually quite impressed you were able to get all this working in 72 hours. Procedural generation is quite difficult. A flashlight. Nice. That'll help. A little. I thought it was going to be a dead end. Oh, I'm going to get terribly lost, though. Another flashlight! For double flashing power! Ooh, the floor is Z-fighting, though. That's... Oh, and <laughs> you see the, uh, the end here. As we get further away, it gets a little more janky. Maybe we'll go back a little bit. Yeah, that's better. Yeah, it started Z-fighting as we got, got further away. Alright, so big corridor. See, I already lost the room we were supposed to... Okay, so this is the main room. Oh, there's a blue key. Cool. Um, gotta leave a flashlight. Oh, gosh, okay. Blue key. And then we're looking for a green key. Green, green. Okay, so I found red that way, blue that way. Green's going to be this way, maybe? Green key. Oh, there we go. Nice. We did it. Hopefully, unless there's another... Escape room inside of an escape room. Another procedurally generated. Bloop. Nice! The world is endless, so explore as much as you want. Very nice. That was cool. I, I really li like the that you were able to make a procedural generation game in 72 hours. That's pretty impressive. Oh, look, another red key. Okay, so the keys just kind of spawn procedurally as well. I wonder if this room does, too. Otherwise, you might get like too far away and not be able to figure out how to get back maybe that's interesting i would be curious to you know see the code or see like a um devlog of how you do it or something very cool 
That was Corrupted Quarter. All right, next one. We play. So we played Jeff is the worst. I'm not quite sure. That's the one where we got recrawled. Um, all right. Test subject escape VR. We're getting close to the end here. By Updog97. Let's see. Hex body, Hercan VR. Um, and there's no instructions at the beginning. So we're going to jump into it and see what happens. Um, so this one's called Test Subject Escape. Oh, stupid bots. Get out of here. I keep blocking the bot. I don't know why, how it keeps showing up. It's very blocked. I'll double block it. Yeah, I feel like it is the same one. I put it in timeout too, so we'll see. Okay. Oh yeah, so we got the, uh, um, if you buy Hurricane VR, calibrate your height, press the primary button. Uh-oh. Buttons don't work. Uh oh. Not good. Okay, buttons don't work for this one. Alright, maybe we'll come back to this one and try to do it with the uh, APK file. I can't. Oh, wait. Maybe I had this deselected? Okay, there we go. Yeah, I accidentally wasn't selecting it. All right, we're good. We're good. Calibrate your height. Press the primary button on the left controller. Cool. Hello, test subject. Welcome to my elaborate game. <laughs> if you want your freedom, you must overcome all of the obstacles ahead of you. Good luck. You're going to need it. Ominous. Okay, so there's like a little tutorial type level here. I, it is kind of annoying how the hands are not quite. They probably test uh, tested this on the um, like a different device, like the Rift or something, or the um, not the Rift, but like the Valve Index or something. There we go. Well I like done. The little tutorial. Now levels. let's see how good you are at climbing. Oh, so I have to. I can't grab them. I have to actually like climb Ooh, got it got it it kind of helps that my hands are sideways right now got it there we go try pulling your legs oh no no dang it <laughs> okay Gotta go up again. I got it. Oh, almost slipped. Gotta, gotta go gently. Do not go gentle into that good night. Okay. So let's get both hands up. Pull my legs up. There we go. Okay. Gotta do it again. That was too easy, wasn't it? This next wall should be quite the challenge. Okay. See my uh, great. This is a great climbing grip. If you guys didn't know, <laughs> the the index finger push. How I do all my rock climbing, difficult as possible. Okay, got it. Oh no. Okay, that was close. I almost slipped off there. I have to get give me this hand back. It's like a little too tiny to put both hands on, so you gotta kind of like rock one and get the other one. Okay, please don't fall off at the very end. That would be awful. 
All right, we got it. Push ourselves up, and we made it. <laughs> nice. Oh, look, You're not Minecraft. Free yet. <laughs> Enjoy the view while you can. Interesting. Enjoy the view while you can. All right. Let's see how good you are with a bow. Hope this might be kind of difficult with the uh, the angle I have to hold the things at. All right. Got it. Oh, come on, come on. There we go. Got it. Yeah, they're just it's just the hand angles is the only thing. Nice. I'm still amazing at bow and arrow even without the uh oh well, I say that. Come on. Right there. Got it. Bow and arrow in VR is still probably one of the best um interactions there is. Oh gosh, that was rough. Yeah, there's I don't know, something about it, just like Oh, it says I hit it. Okay. Welcome to the final room. You need to find three gems in order to taste that sweet freedom you long for. Okay, one gem. Ooh, the blue gem's behind the red. This seems too easy. Okay. What is that? All right, how do I? Generic title, generic title. That's funny. Ooh, can I climb up this and grab? Oh, ooh. Wait. Is there a key up here that I missed? No. Did it fall through the? Uh... All through the thing. Uh oh. Is it behind the uh, shelf here? Did I accidentally lose the key? Maybe I can use the book. I don't imagine you. Oh, did I break it? Dang it. Come on, key. Where is it? Uh, that had to be it. Yellow book. It's got to have the key, yellow key in it. But green. Can I just open this? Uh, no. Has to have some kind of key. And the only other thing you can interact with is the book. Oh man. All right, let's see if we can figure this out. Um, that could be a three, a four, a five. It could be a lot of eight is the center number. Three, zero. What do you think? Four? Yeah, it's going to be a four, eight. Three zero. That's what I'm going with. Nope. Four eight three zero. Oh. Okay. Um, something eight. Maybe uh. I, I'm gonna go with four eight six zero. Four eight six zero. Nope. Uh, four eight three six. Dang it! Have you all played this and actually got the uh, final number? Oh, there's another book on the lower shelves. Okay, let's look for that. Oh, oh, 
Okay, there we go. Ah, that's what I needed. Thank you. I was just trying to guess the numbers. I should have kept looking, I guess. I don't know. It would make sense to me that it would be like a yellow book, but I guess not. Okay, four, eight, ah, uh, two, six. I did four, eight, three, six. We were so close. We were just one, one digit off. Two, six. Nice. Very well done, test subject. You have impressed me. Impressed me so much that I might just keep you to uh -oh. myself. Oh no. Enjoy what little oh. freedom you have now. We can climb. <laughs> we can still escape, don't worry. I'm not oh, I just smacked the light in my room. Wait, I can jump. Oh, yeah, there we go. Okay. Jump. Got it. Okay. No. Wait. Okay, so I can't jump that high. I can only jump this high. And then there's another handhold. Oh, come on. All right, we got it. We got it. We just have to, like, use half of the handhold. So that the other hand can come up. Use it and then keep going. And then up again. All right, we got this. Gently. Okay, we got it. Come on. No! Dang it! These little, like, climbing obstacles are kind of hard. Okay, this is the hardest part of the, uh, Hardest part of the escape room. Oh, fingertips. All right. I like have my hands off the uh, buttons because if I touch the buttons, then your hand like changes shape and it like causes me to like kind of flick off a little bit. Not flick off, but like, you know, move unexpectedly. <laughs> Come on. Oh no, I need a better, better hold than that. We're so close, we don't want to. Ugh, I made it. Okay. Wait, no, you're not actually supposed to escape. Come back. Woohoo! Okay, cool. We made it. Nice. I like the little landscape around it. Little extra details. You escaped. Thanks for playing. By the way, there are hidden Easter eggs. Did we find any Easter eggs? We found like the book on top. I don't know. Cool. Very fun. Was there another bot? Goodness. Okay, there we go. Yeah, we've get we've been getting a uh, in inordinate. I don't know how to say that word. Inordinate amount of bots um, the last couple days, which is interesting. I mean, I haven't streamed as much um, as I have this weekend. So, all right, the room door. I remember there was a little bit of an issue they had right at the beginning, um, and they had to re-upload, so we'll be playing the latest version, not the one that was uploaded right when... Um... <laughs> There's a 50-50 chance that the drawing mechanic won't work on your computer. <laughs> okay. The thumbnail, though, is quite impressive for this game. Um, I did play Corruptive Corridors, yeah. Um, if you just scroll back a little, or uh, scroll back a little bit in the uh, thingy, in the video. All right, the rune door. Loading, loading. Answer. All 
Alright. Ooh, I like this. Have a little block over here. Alright. First off, let's see what's in the chest. Ooh, a little gun with eyes. <laughs> the chest has a zero G um, hinge on it. <laughs> Interesting. Ooh. Okay. What is this? Piece of paper. Okay. Oh. Draw the rune in the air with your right hand to open the gate. Okay. This is my beautiful drawing. Oh, did that not work? Okay. Sharp angles. Okay, maybe we'll start from the middle. Come on, we got this. This was like the, uh, we played a game, like, the first day. That was kind of like this, that had, like, the cool little, uh, thing, but it didn't quite work. Also, why do I have a gun? Is that's not the right rune? Or maybe it's upside down. Maybe it is upside down. Wait, can I put this in a holster? Yes, I can. Cool. Maybe it goes like that? Nope, it keeps snapping like this, so this has got to be the right way. Okay, so, wait, let's just do this. Nope. Come on. We're doing it right. See? We have to do it fast, maybe? Let's explore a little more. I feel like we have all the pieces, though. And a random gun. I don't know what the gun does. This person died. Oh, I lost my feather. Oh no, what happened to my feather? Oh, there it is. Draw the rune in the air with your right hand to open the gate. Z squiggly. Oh, we got it that time. Oh, that's where we need the gun. Oh, requires multiple hits. Interesting. Hey, you were dead. Rude. Okay. All right. Hope there's another one. Alright, so we know the drawing works, we just don't know how reliable it is. Okay, um, maybe it's this one? Okay, so we're gonna do squiggle, triangle, triangle, triangle. <laughs> squiggle, triangle, triangle, triangle. Oh, we got it. Cool. Oh, it doesn't. It's a big spider. Woo. Okay. What was that? Okay. And then this will get us into the green one, probably. This is cool. I really love the... Uh, you know, it's a low poly design, but it, you know, add, it's the atmosphere. Like, it's not, it doesn't, you don't have to have a, you know, super high detail um, game in order to get it to work. Um, so I think you actually have to be holding this, maybe? In order to get it to work. But. Nice. Alright. What is this? The end. Sweet. Oh, I can't shoot other things. Sweet! That was
was really cool. Good game. And the mechanic took me a minute to figure out how to work, but it did end up working in the end. And yeah, the mo the music is pretty cool. How does the drawing system work? I honestly haven't um tried one. Uh, but you. Yeah, it's like a well. You could use like an AI kind of algorithm to like say, okay, well, this is kind of close enough, and send it out to like an API and have it come back. It's a complicated way of doing it. Yeah, machine learning kind of thing. Um, that's, I mean, that's the only way I can think of off the top of my head. Um, I there was a there's a game jam. The last game jam we did, someone did another a drawing mechanic like that, and. Um, I think they had it so there's like a grid of squares and as I drew like as you're holding down the button it would um, mark every square it basically like came up with like an invisible grid of squares and then I saw a devlog of it um, and then every time you go over it would mark that particular square and then so the developer basically just said okay if they mark all of these squares then it was the right um, you know in in this order then it was the right um, design or something like that so it's really interesting like that's that's another way you could do it uh, but yeah that was cool that was really good um and like the, yeah the aesthetics and everything was very nice it was very very good game yeah the first door was a little difficult but the rest of them we got it all right emergent by pythagoras Move through the space station by grabbing and pushing against the whole of the space station. Oh, it's another space game. Yes, I love space games, by the way. Um, enjoy the views of, in the atmosphere. Try going through the main hatch. Um, and then there's have been a couple updates. Uses VR interaction framework. All right, let's try it. Emergent. I'm excited for this one. Just because I love space games. When do you think the next jam will be? I would like to do them pretty often. I would love to do more game jams. Ooh. Oh, the mud is... That's really nice, actually. Whoa. So it doesn't... Like, you guys can see, it doesn't really snap. It's not like snapped onto your head. It follows at a little bit of a lag. Like so, like the center one is snapped to like wherever I'm looking, but all the other elements kind of follow a little lag. That's cool. Oh, okay. And so the bottom corner is like a good GPS, and then this one is a. I don't know. All right. What is a merchant? Uh, you, XY Land 422, turn on and wake, awake in a space station alone. You learn that you have been left on an old space station that has been abandoned and left to fall out of orbit and burn up in the atmosphere of the near planet Coronata. Now you must find out why you, a robot, has emerged continuous and aware. Use your newfound intelligence to escape into the void. Emergent has no actual gameplay yet. Take your time to explore the space station and enjoy the awesome views. Oh, okay, so there's not an escape. I'm confused. Okay. Okay, so the trigger kind of... Is it the trigger? Kind of drifts. Okay, there we go. I love the HUD, um, but it does get clipped, so like, um, the suggestion is have the HUD just overlay on top of everything and not um, do any uh, masking or anything like that. Um, oh, turn off, what is it called? This is really cool though. Oh, it's like imagine like being able to like, you know move the joystick and control something from like in here oh this is giving me so many cool ideas oh my goodness super cool hey these are the same assets we, we saw in another game i think oh no i missed 
so I think if I so there's not an escape room I guess it's just like a little tech demo thing Okay, so you, we do have a full collider, it seems, um, and so that makes it kind of hard to get through doors. Like, so a space type game, you wouldn't want like a full body collider; you just want like a head collider, and that kind of stuff. Let's go outside. Do we technically escape if we cross the threshold? Ah, we escaped. Interesting. Oh. And that's it. That's how you die in space. You just miss, and then you slowly drift off into infinity. <laughs> I love the turtle. There's gotta be a turtle. Also the hut. I'm very impressed with the hut. That is super cool. A little, like, delay. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. So yeah, this is a VR... IF, so when you press buttons, um, it actually has inverse kinematics and stuff, so it's just swapping the models. Okay, so I guess there's not an escape room. That's what it said in the thing. Oh, the thumbstick moves me. Oh, the thumbstick does move me. <laughs> I'm used to, uh, I go down though? That is the question. So the thumbstick just moves me in the XY direction. Or X, X, Z direction. love to make a space like kind of shooter type game I think that'd be super fun something like you know like a multiplayer shooter where you're like you know around like a you know a little bit larger of a space station than this but like um, kind of like echo combat I guess but um, you know, more futuristic and sci-fi type game all right interesting Yeah, the screenshots are really nice. So yeah, I guess there's not like a escape thing. It's just just a, just a game, but okay, fun. We're almost to the end. We've only got a few more games left. Oh, no worries. Yeah, and that's why I make the tutorials, so you can learn some more C-sharp and... Uh, Add in some like interactions and stuff. So you're more of like a designer, I can, and I can see that because the it, the level is built really nicely. Um, oh, did I miss the rocket jet hands? Okay, but yeah, like best of luck, man. I think you're gonna do well. Um, yeah, like the the level design is really nice. It's really pretty. Cool. Okay, so we we did that. We tried this one. I never could figure out how to solve that one. Um, Escape Room VR by Max One Seven Seven Six Seventeen Seventy Six. The goal of the game is simple: escape the room. Game was made by a two-man team. Uh, finished right before, right after, thirty-two seconds after the time limit. <laughs> Alt tab to quit. Oh yeah, maybe a little lighting. Trunka. 
that would be cool and like if in space it can be a hard lighting it could be like a really like harsh kind of shadows and stuff all right escape room vr let me find it There we go. Oh, there's a hand. Is that my hand? Okay. All I see is this hand. Buttons don't do anything. Can I? Oh, okay. That was easy. So first one is walk through the door. Second one is oh, this is uh, this reminds me of ah crap. What's the game called? What's that game called with all the like Disney characters and everything? I don't know. You guys know. All right. Um, what do all the buttons do? Okay, so I just have to press all the buttons. Okay. There's guns and targets. Sounds good to me. Oh, wait, come back. So they all need to be a different color? Oh. Ah, oh, I'm out of bullets. <laughs> oh. oh, okay. <laughs> they didn't turn the uh, anchor control off. So I can just point the gun wherever I want. <laughs> okay. Um, there's lots of blocks. Oh, I could pick up the blocks and put them on things. Okay, so green's probably got to go on the green thingy. And then the purple one can go there and orange. Wow, the uh, door opening sound sounds like an alarm. <laughs> Platform nine and three quarters. So all we have to do is walk through. <laughs> yeah. Because when you know, you know. You know? Oh. Okay. So gr green. Okay, so we have to go up and like this. Okay, so boop, 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 boop. Boop, boop. Okay. Cool. Did you try running through the wall at the end of that other hole? I, I did. That's how I... Oh. What? That's how I got here. Maybe I'll try running through this wall. No. Oh, wait. Oh. So this, I have to go back and run through the wall again? Uh, this and this here, here. I see a seam. Nope. Okay. Running through this wall. I <laughs> see the shadow for the key up in the first one. Or over here. Uh oh. I'm confused now. Okay, so we have platform nine and three quarters. We go up. We go through the little maze thing. We go through the, oh. Password is one, seven, six, five. One, seven, do I have to press it? Oh. One, how do I change it?
I'm confused. Press. Oh, oh, oh. I have a key now <laughs> that I can clip through the wall. Grab it with this hand. All right, I'm, I'm getting more and more confused about this particular game. How do I type in numbers? OK, so one. There were numbers in here before. I press it. No. How did I type? Or did I type it in? I'm confused. What? Has anybody solved this? Yeah, there's a keyblade. That's what it's called. What if what's invisible? Kingdom Hearts. Yeah, that's the game. All right, so how do I type in this number? <laughs> there's a pin. I haven't seen like a... And there's a random keyblade. And I can't type in numbers. Oh, I can. Okay, you press with the key. Oh, okay, so if I get it wrong, it drops me. Got it. Okay. So I have to type it in with the key for whatever reason. Wait. Okay. <laughs> I've gone through this so many times, you would think that it would be like... Oh, dang it. I typed in the wrong number to start out with. Okay. Boop. Oh, come on. So I, the annoying part is you can't clear the numbers. So you just kind of have to like, what? What? Did I miss? Oh, I missed it. Now I have to go back through the little uh, thing. Okay, here, here, here. Ugh. Wish there was a snap turning option. The continuous turn is the only thing that still makes me have uh, motion sickness. Okay. Oh, come on. Why are there numbers already typed in? Boop. Boop. Okay. Hopefully I didn't accidentally type any more numbers. One more time, we got it. You have to type in the numbers with the keyblade and then the door should open. Okay. Don't mess that up. Okay. No, no, dang it. Oh, you can't hit the one? So one doesn't work. How am I going to type in 176, huh? Uh, we're never going to get out of this. One or two more tries. Um, okay, this one over here. Okay. All right. One, seven, six, five. All right, let's be very gentle with the key. One. One. So one doesn't work? How am I supposed to type in 1765 if one doesn't work? One. Seven. Oh, seven works. Does six work? Six. 
five. Ah, one doesn't work. Huh. I don't know. Interesting. So we hit a little bug. Can't quite escape from it. Ugh. Take a break from the continuous turn. That's the only thing that gives me uh, motion sickness nowadays. Yeah, one doesn't work. When one doesn't work, are you giving me a suggestion? All right, I'll uh, come back to that one in my on my own time, not on the stream, and try to finish that. All right, you're grounded by Bavism. Bavism. It's a work in progress. They only got about 20 hours of work done. A kid's imagination is always the best escapism. And you need some of that. Having just been grounded to your room. This is a tech demo for our escape room. Where you fly around the room in a toy plane. Uh, the gameplay is missing. But they built in physical VR based plane control system. Interesting. Okay. So it's not quite an escape room, but it's a tech demo. All right, let's try this one out. You're grounded. Oh, that's a clever play on words. I like that. Because you're flying a plane. You're grounded. We're almost done. After this, we have like two more games to play. Okay. All over. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to be doing. Oh, I can teleport outside. Okay, so... What about the plane? Or is there not one that was just like the general idea, but we didn't they didn't get to the plane, maybe? Oh. Am I supposed to do something? I don't know. What's over here? Oh, it's just the roof. Huh, okay. I don't see a plane. Did I miss something? Oh, oh, is it supposed to be multiplayer? They're trying to add multiplayer to this? Oh, you have to tr uh, press the host button. I'm sure you can do things. Okay, and then when you host, you can click the trigger to fly. Oh, oh! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. That's pretty cool. Also, very dizzy. Ooh, this is not for the faint of heart. Woohoo! Okay. Ooh, gosh. Can't do that for long. <laughs> That's really cool, but also, wow, really dizzy. <laughs> um, goodness, there's a reason it's difficult to make a flight simulators. <laughs> Interesting. Okay, so like a multiplayer flight simulator. Interesting. That's pretty cool. Very dizzy, very dizzy. I could not last long. Um, but really neat. Like, that's a cool concept, like flying around in a plane. Um, okay, so these are the two planes with, like, multiplayer and stuff. Got it. Okay. Huh. Very nice. All right, let's go back. 
Um, we'll play Cooperative Escape Room. So we tried this one the first day, um, but we didn't get to try it out as much because it is a multiplayer game as well. Um, but there's a uh, magnetic maze you have to solve. Uh, so I was, I was talking to the developer and they figured out a way to host it, but we didn't get time to test it. So let me jump in there again and then we can um, play around with it. Um, cooperative escape room. And then, and then we'll play advanced settings. And then I think we'll be done. Wow. We hit 42 VR games. Escape rooms. Okay. Um, so host game. That's my local IP, so you can't even hack me if you know that number. All right. So there's a magnetic maze here that your partner has to solve. Um, and then... Oh, slow mo button. Okay, teleport. So you can teleport to the other side. And then there's like a little uh, ball right there. And is this the magnet? Yeah, so this is a little magnet maze. Oh, that's super cool, actually. Hold on. Bye. Physics, sir. Okay, so we have to get it up and around, down. That's really cool. All right, come on, come on. I like the, the magnet mechanic. It's actually really interesting. We got it. Woo! And then we'll teleport back. Oh, wait. You can't teleport back? Come on. Yes, you can. Oh, yeah, there we go. You reach your hand through the uh, wall. That's how you teleport. All right, and then I can go and grab the... Oh, the numbers. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Of course. One, two, three, four, five, six. Woohoo! And then the door opens. It does. And then there's more things, like battery things. Oh, so, yeah, yeah. So he was saying that um, the goal was to get it to be like, a, you know, a nuclear launch type thing where you have um, you have a key. You each have a key um, and you have to, oh, I can't grab it. And you have to put the keys in the locks at the same time and turn them on at the same time to open the door. Um, so this is really as far as I can get with the uh, game. And you can like pass things back and forth like this. It's a really, really cool idea. Um, and you can also write on the wall. I don't know why some of it is black and some of it is red, but butamous. Yeah, so the, the idea is you both put keys in there, and then they put a key in, and then you turn it at the same time. And then things happen. Uh, but yeah, really, really cool idea, and very ambitious for a multiplayer uh, VR game, all in the 172-hour game jam. <laughs> so, props to y'all. All right, let me jump back into regular Oculus mode. And then I'll share with y'all. And then we'll play advanced. So yeah, the teleporting through is a glitch. Um, yeah, I need to try to get someone to play it through with me because I think that'd be pretty fun. All right. Ooh, it's very, very glitchy. Is it glitchy for y'all? Goodness. Wow, that's really bad. 
It was doing fine yesterday. Am I running to am I running program still? No. Let's kill Oculus. Huh. Here, let me uh turn this off and then go back to casting. And try again. I wouldn't say that's better. Huh. Usually it's not. It was a bad yesterday. Well, maybe we won't um, do casting. Dang it. Yeah, I wanted to, uh, I wanted to do like a, to play advanced settings with y'all too, but that one is only on the, and is very laggy, apparently. It was, it was not laggy yesterday. Or the day before, so. I don't know. Um, but besides advanced settings, which is really unfortunate. We played, I played all of them live. So. Yeah, there we go. Let me read through the chat. Oh, that's really unfortunate. I want to play advanced settings. All right. Well, thank you all for hanging out. And thank you, everyone who submitted uh, Game Jam entries like crazy that each and every one of you made a whole game in 72 hours and submitted it to the jam. I am super impressed by all of you. Um, and even, even if you like, you know, played the, or even if you participated in the jam, but didn't submit your game still amazing work to everybody. And, uh, we'll, we're definitely gonna be doing more of these. So I'm thinking, what do you think? Maybe mid March, we should do another one mid to the end of March. We'll know. So we're, we're going to know in, let's see, 13 hours when, who the winners are. And the winners get a Hurricane VR or a Hexabody VR. So the number one winner gets Hurricane VR and Hexabody VR. Um, and if it's a team, I'll just coordinate with them to figure out how many keys to give them and whatnot. Um, and then the second and third place winners get a either Hurricane or Hexabody VR. Um, and then we have the winner of the presentation category gets um, a zero caliber game key. And the winner of the concept category gets a uh, $20 Oculus Quest game of their choice. So, yeah, you're welcome for showing all the games for sure. And if you would like to go rate them, please do so. We have a decent amount of ratings now. We've got 302. Let me refresh. Uh, yep, 302 ratings, which is a good bit. That's about it's about six per game, six or seven per game, which is really nice. So yeah, go in and rate. You have 13 hours left, and uh, there we go. Uh, yeah, you did. I'm I'm ending it. We we played all the games except for advanced settings, which is actually really unfortunate. Um, so go play advanced settings if you want to know what that one's like. Um, but yeah, I've played all the other games. I'm pretty sure. Um, and But these will be posted as VOD, so you guys can go and uh, review and whatnot. I'll try to go back and add timestamps to where what game was played, um, just so you can skip through to see your game or see games that you're interested in. And uh, yeah, we'll know by tomorrow morning who won. And I'll be doing a video about that this week. And then next week, I'm actually going to be out of town for Valentine's Day. So we're going to take a little break from uh, videos, and then we'll jump back into tutorials the week after. So kind of that works out pretty well. Uh, but anyway, thank you guys for hanging out um, for the last three days. It's been a lot of live streaming the last couple of days. So thanks for coming and hanging out. And uh, I'll see you in, in, on Wednesday, probably, with, with the video. So.